Okay, well, welcome to our call this evening. We are so happy that you are here just to learn and take in some of the information that we have to share with you. Myself, and my name is Julie, and Julie Zilke and Mary, we are passionate about this message. We are considered a part of the Healthy Living Revolution, which is a group that kind of comes together, gets educated, and then comes alongside of individuals and families and helps them to take their health back in ways that are simple, doable, and fun. So we are passionate for a few reasons, but mostly because there are two startling trends that are happening in our world today. And the first is that environmental toxins are increasing. So whether this is products we're putting on our skin, the air that we're breathing, the pharmaceuticals we're taking, the water we're drinking, the food that we're eating, our world is so much more toxic today than it was for our ancestors. And at the same time that our world is becoming more toxic, our food quality is severely decreasing. So I love this image because this gentleman is shopping in the center aisles of the grocery store. And I know about eight years ago, I made a big switch in my wellness journey and I stopped looking at calories and fat and I started looking at the ingredients in my food. And I was shocked when I learned that most of what I was eating was not food. It was like food-like products, right? It was full of ingredients that I couldn't pronounce or I didn't know what it was. And so now I aim for less than five ingredients and all ingredients that I can pronounce uh, because really our food should be what's helping to fight this toxicity in our environment, but it's contributing to that toxicity. It's full of preservatives, enhancers, synthetic vitamins, pesticides. And the results are really scary. Uh, this is Dr. David Katz. He's head of prevention at Yale. I actually got to see him speak in person and he's absolutely brilliant, but he said, this may be the first generation of children to have a shorter life expectancy than their parents. Since he said that, it's been proven true. In fact, two weeks ago, they decreased the life expectancy age from 77 to 74. So in a time when we have more medical advances than we have ever had, we are doing something that is causing our life expectancy to go backwards. And that should be really alarming. Uh, by age 12, many of our children have developed the beginning stages of hardening of the arteries, one in three children is obese, one in three will develop diabetes, and more than 25% take prescription drugs on a regular basis. This is Dr. Bill Sears. He's known as America's pediatrician, and he shares that really the adults aren't doing any better. One in three live with some form of cardiovascular disease. One in three women will have cancer and one in two men. And I feel like I have to repeat this because I'm honestly kind of shocked this isn't better known. One in three women will have cancer and one in two men. I've been giving this presentation or the, sharing this information for over four years, and it just becomes more true every single year. Um, one in three will have diabetes by 2050, and one in three is obese, but all of the depressing stuff is over now. Um, we're passionate, and we're on this call because really this big, oh, darn it, because of this quote here at the bottom, um, that 75% of all chronic disease is preventable. And while there are definitely things that we're dealing with that maybe, you know, we could have done nothing about, the truth is that Americans are dying from lifestyle-related diseases, and we have more power than we think. When I started in my journey, you know, eight years ago, I actually felt discouraged the more I learned because I didn't know how to fix it. But I think by the end of this call, you'll definitely feel encouraged. So oxidative stress is linked to poor health. Well, what the heck is oxidative stress? Well, basically, if you're breathing you have oxidative stress, <clears throat> excuse me. It is the root of all disease, aging and death. It is cellular damage, okay? So we have these free radicals in our body that just ping our cells all day long. I mean, millions of times a day and they cause damage to our cells. But God had a brilliant plan and he gave us antioxidants. And when we eat antioxidants, those antioxidants donate a proton to the free radical, which then neutralizes the free radical and it keeps it it stops it from pinging our cell and causing cellular damage. So a really easy way to think about this is consider an apple. When you cut open the apple and the flesh of the apple is exposed to the air, it begins to brown, to rust, to age. But we know if we take lemon juice, an antioxidant, and we squeeze it on the flesh of that apple, it delays that aging process. And that really is what antioxidants do in our body. I bet we would all eat more of them if we knew that they were as anti-aging as they really are. And we all know where we get antioxidants from, right, from fruits and vegetables, but today's mass-produced produce is packing a much less nutritional punch. And there's two main reasons for this. The first is soil depletion. 
If you don't know much about that, you really should become aware. I'm not going to go into it tonight, so make sure you Google it. Uh, but the second is that it's mass produced. And so I can really go up to the store up the street and buy just about any fruit or vegetable I'd like. But because we have this wonderful, you know, variety available to us all the time, our produce is, peaked, is picked way before it is ripened on the vine. But our plants get over 80% of their nutrition within the last 24 to 48 hours of ripening on the vine. So I've heard it actually compared to a baby, and I think this is a, an amazing comparison. We know the difference between a baby born at 40 weeks and a baby born at 38 weeks. We know the difference between a baby at 38 and 36. And that's what happens when we pick that fruit and vegetable too early. It's meant to be connected to its nutrient source as long as possible. And the results are pretty scary. So this is the iron content that was present in a bowl of spinach in 1953. In 1997, so over 20 years ago, you had to eat 43 bowls of spinach to get the same iron content. And I really believe that this image explains a little bit of those ridiculous statistics from the doctors that we saw earlier. Because we all know that we need to eat fruits and vegetables, and I believe we all try really hard, and there's no doubt that we don't try as hard as our ancestors, right? Um, but it's just that we're kind of fighting a bit of an uphill battle. And you know, this is just iron. Spinach contains thousands of phytochemicals. And if all of our food is this deficient, you know, maybe this really has something to do with some of the challenges that we have. So what a lot of people don't know is that back in the 1950s and the 1960s, they really thought that there were 12 essential nutrients in fruits and vegetables that we needed. So we man-made synthetic, put it in a vitamin and thought we were bridging the gap. But as we know, we have not gotten any healthier over the last 50 or 60 years. And what's relatively newer research is just how abundant our produce is. They have located over 20,000 different nutrients in one apple, over 25,000 different nutrients in one blueberry, and over 14,000 different nutrients in one avocado. They've only named 140 of those in the avocado. Um, and really there are some people that believe we're just scratching the surface. It's like if Galileo said, oh, there's 238 stars in the sky. I mean, some people believe we really will probably never know all that is present in our food. But what we do know is that we don't have a vitamin deficiency, we have a whole food deficiency. Because what we're missing is the real food that knows how to work perfectly synergistically in our body. So all of those ingredients that you see here on the right that are in, found in an apple, they work in perfect harmony with each other. And there's two great examples of this. You know, an apple itself has 5.7 milligrams of vitamin C, but when you eat it and digest it, it's the equivalent of taking a 1500 milligram megadose isolated vitamin C tablet because that vitamin C is working with all of those other nutrients in the apple. Also lycopene, which is found in a tomato is known to fight prostate cancer, but they're finding that when they remove it from the tomato, it has no effect on the cancer. And that's because the lycopene is working with all of the other nutrients present in that tomato. So back in the day, we grabbed number seven, number 4,002, number 10,001, and thought we were bridging the gap. But really, we just need more of the real thing. And so for a long time, it was five servings of fruits and vegetables a day. Um, and then they changed it to seven to 13, but that's if you're healthy, if you're fighting disease, pregnant, or if you exercise, you need 16 to 18 servings of fruits and vegetables a day. I've read some studies that suggest that within the next 50 years, we will need 30 servings of fruits and vegetables a day to combat the toxicity in our environment. We might even be there already. Who knows? I mean, nobody probably is testing that yet. Uh, but the government got one thing right, and they came out with this big campaign that says more matters. And they're really right. I mean, nobody with the standard American diet has too many fruits and vegetables in their diet. Um, but the other... oh. I'll tell you that later. Never mind. So I'm excited. You know, Julie and Mary, we're all thankful that at some point in our journey, somebody introduced us to this amazing solution that's called Juice Plus. Um, I love to tell the backstory because I think it just explains so much. This was de developed over 30 years ago by a doctor. His name is Dr. Smokey Santillo, and he was more holistic. He helped cancer patients juice. And his dad was diagnosed with lymphoma, and he was given three weeks to live. So Dr. Smokey decided that he had to find a way to make his juice more powerful. So instead of juicing the fruits and vegetables, he was going to take the whole thing with the pits, the peel, the rinds, the seeds, even the leaves from the vine whenever possible, because that's where a lot of the nutrition is, is in some of the parts we throw away. 
and he put that into like a Vitamix, blended it up. It resulted in a slurry. And then he took that slurry and he dehydrated it at a cold temperature to preserve the nutrients. And it resulted in a powder. So these capsules are full of a powdered, what we call powdered produce. And he pumped his dad full of this powder and he ended up living for six more years. And not only did he live, but he actually had good quality of life, which is so rare for cancer patients today. And it was at that point that Dr. Smokey knew that he was on to something. So he uh, looked around for a company that would share Juice Plus in this manner because it has to be explained. If it was sitting on a store shelf, um, you would just think it was another vitamin or supplement and it would go bad because it's actually food in a capsule. This is like Jetson food. It's crazy. Um, so Juice Plus hit the market 25 years ago. So I'll tell you in a second what makes it so unique, but I want you to look at this image and look at all of the different colors and all of the variety. And I want you to know that food is information to your body. So if they wanted to test you for breast cancer, they give you the same mineral every single time because that mineral, when you ingest it, will go straight to the breast. And that really is how food is. I and mean, there's a spot that you know, nutrients and carrots go to and nutrients and garlic go to the same spots every single time. And so I'll talk to some people who say, well, I eat a lot of fruit. All I need are the greens. And the truth is that we all need more. We all need more of all of this variety because I know there are some things on here that I never eat. Um, some that I do, but maybe not often and not vine ripened. Um, and so it's amazing to think that you could get this consistency and this variety, or you could get this variety on a consistent basis. And it really is information in your body and it does, they do different things that are unique. So what makes Juice Plus so different? Well, my favorite, the first is my favorite thing. It's that this is just food. This has a nutrition label. You cannot see it on my camera right now. It has a nutrition label, not a vitamin or a supplement label. You cannot overdose on this. There is no warning label. There is nothing that says you can have it if you're, um, as long as you're not pregnant, nursing, or under the age of 12, which if anything ever says that, we probably shouldn't ever take it, right? Because what is in there? So that's what I love about Juice Plus is that if you can eat food, if you can eat a salad, you can eat Juice Plus. When my kids were six months old, I opened up the capsule and I put it into their food. So it's full of that phytonutrition that you saw next to the apple, all of those ingredients, not isolated vitamins. Um, it's non-GMO, dairy-free and gluten-free. It has an NSF cert certification, which is a third party that validates that what we say is in our product is and nothing more. It's the highest level of certification you can receive and we've had it for over 20 years. But the reason why I love this certification is because it's what ensures that these powders, these capsules are free of any herbicides, pesticides, fungicides, yeast, mold, bacteria, and heavy metals. So that is so important because even when I go to the store and buy my organic apple, I do not know that it is free of all of those things. And I love that. And then finally, when Juice Plus hit the market 25 years ago, people had unique experiences and you'll hear about that in a little bit. So they decided they wanted to see what is this doing on human beings with blood drawn? And today, and I'm certain forever, we are the most researched nutritional product in the world with 38 published studies and nine underway. That's the most we've ever had underway. We've been researched at Brigham Young, Vanderbilt, Yale, MD Anderson Cancer Center, some of the most prestigious facilities here in the States and abroad. And I'm going to take a second to tell you my favorite research study because it's amazing. Uh, first of all, this was published in the JACC, which meant nothing to me until I gave this presentation to um, a group of pharmaceutical reps, and they told me that that journal is impossible to get into, and you cannot buy your way in there, and I thought that was really cool. Um, it was done at the University of Maryland, and it was the brainchild of a group of cardiologists because they know that 50% of heart attacks happen four hours after a high-fat meal. It's why Christmas and Thanksgiving are terrible days in the emergency room, and they wanted to see the effects of Juice Plus on heart health. So they took a group of people to McDonald's, and they fed them a pretty standard McDonald's breakfast, and they waited four hours, and they measured the construction in their brachial artery. So that's this gray bar right here. So you can see everybody had about 40 to 50% constriction four hours after eating that high-fat meal. Isn't that amazing to think that your body's working 40 to 50% harder after that meal? Sorry, there's like a prey going on upstairs. I don't know if you can hear that. Um, but then they divided the group up into three. So they put one group on a placebo. They put the second group on our fruits and our veggies. And then the last group is on all three with our fruits, veggies, and our berries. And they waited just 28 days. This purple, this purple bar is 28 days later. Took them back to McDonald's, fed them the same meal, waited four hours, and measured their constriction in their artery. 
The group on the placebo had a slight reduction. They had the least amount of constriction to begin with. The group on our fruits and our veggies had over 60% less constriction just 28 days later. And then the group on all three with our berries, they went from almost 50% constriction to less than 1%. And the reason why I love this study is because these people changed nothing else about their diet. They added six capsules full of powdered produce, and they didn't worry about anything else. And this is where I'm saying the government got it right with more matters, because when you give your body more of what is good, it knows what to do with it. And I feel like we're in this climate and this culture of health where we're so worried about restricting what is bad and we're so worried about being perfect that we're keeping ourselves from just making the next right step. So it is not at all about being perfect. It's about fueling your body with what your body will recognize and what your body will know what to do with. I've read some pregnancy studies that say that it's more beneficial to add in good than it is to eliminate the bad. So let's focus on all the good that we can add in. And that's what I love that this study proves. Um, so our core product line is our capsules, our fruits, veggies, and berries. And then we have these delicious shakes. They come in chocolate and vanilla. Um, really what happened, if, well, if you consider that your body is like a car, a car needs oil and gas, a high quality of each to run well. And our body is the same way. Our body needs micronutrition and macronutrition. But we know with our car, if we delay an oil change or use crummy oil, as long as we have gas in the tank, we can usually run for a while, but problems are brewing. And that's really where I think a lot of Americans are. That micronutrition is cellular health. It's all of those ingredients that you saw in the apple. And many of us are deficient in good oil or micronutrition in our body. And that's where our capsules can really help to bridge the gap. But our company saw that really in terms of macronutrition, the gas, proteins, fats, and carbs, we have an abundance of that in our country, but very little of it is of high quality. And that's where our shakes come in. They're low glycemic, so they stabilize your blood sugar. The number one thing my friends tell me is, these actually keep me full. And it's not because they have 50 grams of protein, it's because they keep your blood sugar stable. It's vegan and non-GMO, gluten and dairy-free. It's full of plants and powerful prebiotic fibers and oligosaccharides. Those oligosaccharides help to heal the lining of your gut which is so important in a time when many people are dealing with leaky gut. Um, so we love these. This is our go-to fast food meal. My children, my husband were all pretty obsessed. And then finally, it was a year in October that our company launched our Juice Plus Omega Blend. And I'll be honest, I was kind of annoyed because I believed we had the perfect product and I didn't know why we were messing with perfection, but I was wrong because these totally helped me with my anxiety. So I'm going to tell you what makes our omegas so awesome. Um, well, first of all, many of us are deficient in high quality omegas and they support the heart, brain, joints, skin, and eyes. And many people are bridging the gap with the fish oil. But there's two problems with that. One, it's not sustainable. It takes three to four pounds of fish to make one ounce of fish oil. And two, our fish are also relatively toxic. So we're taking these capsules that are actually you know, lending to our toxicity like we talked about in the beginning of the call. So we decided just to skip the fish and get um, our omega-3s from the algae, which is the same place where the fish get it from. So all of our omegas are plant-based and we used a full spectrum. So it's three, five, six, seven, and nine, we believed. God put them all on the earth for, the, for a reason, and we need them all in a high quality. But what's really important is that our capsule is cold pressed. And so if you currently take an omega supplement and it's fully encapsulated, which I know I used to take, they have been testing those because in order to fully encapsulate that oil, they have to heat up that capsule. And when they heat up that capsule, they heat up the oil inside of it, which turns the oil rancid. So many of us, and I know I probably was, I was taking a capsule full of toxic fish oil. Um, so that's what really took our product so long to hit the market was the cold press technology. But the research is underway on this right now, and we have been told that it is some of the most profound research they have ever seen on omegas. I'm really hopeful it'll come out this year. But I will wrap this up with this awesome quote. This is from Dr. Richard Du Bois. He was head of infectious disease in Atlanta, Georgia. He's been named America's top doc a few times. And he said, there is nothing available anywhere else in the world with or without a prescription that has been clinically proven to do what Juice Plus does. And so at this point, I'm going to stop sharing my screen and ask Mary to unmute herself and just share her story of why she decided to add Juice Plus in and how her experience has been. So take it away, Mary. Okay. So hi, everybody. Hi, Amanda. I'm glad you made it. <laughs> um, how do I, oh wait, sorry, bear with me for just a second. 
So I just have to laugh on a couple things and share this with you. Like I like wrote this all out and I tired myself so I could make sure I'm going to stick to three minutes, but I'm not sure I'm going to do that because you're all my friends. So I'm just going to take advantage of you. <laughs> um, no, but um, Julie, thank you for sharing that. Like uh, learned a ton and I just want to back up from where I was going to start and say like, I mean, I almost get like emotional when I hear that stuff because, because health is important to me. And and I think for all my friends, sweet, dear friends, that it's important to you too. Um, so I am super blessed that you're here, but I'm really overwhelmed by the quality of this company and this product. And I didn't know half of what you just shared. So that was like, oh my gosh, wait, I thought I knew all that. So anyway, if you um, all know, as you all know me, you know that uh, I'm always on some weird food journey. Um, and if you've ever come to my house, you've probably seen some science project on my <laughs> countertop growing. And when I told you it was food, I'm sure you looked at me like kind of cockeyed. So that being said, it's um, launched me to just really explore a lot of different things. And it's really led me to where I am now. Um, and there is a story, uh, you know, that's kind of what they ask is share your story. So for me personally, um, I'm pretty like cut to the chase kind of person. You know, yeah, sure, okay, whatever. But when, um, my dear sweet friend, Julie Zilke, introduced this to me over a year ago. It was a no-brainer. I'm like, yep, fruits and vegetables in a capsule. Done. Check off the list. I'll do it all day long. Like, who doesn't need more of that, right? So um, I got him, and I started taking them, and uh, then life got busy, and then it got even busier, and then it was let's buy a house and rip everything out kind of busy, and I was a hot mess. So uh, needless to say, I was not taking my Juice Plus. And... Um, so as that process went on, I also was neglecting any kind of nutrition that I knew was important. Wasn't eating well, uh, sleeping well, stress levels involved. Uh, I'm sure all the toxic drywall dust that I was breathing in didn't help. Um, and that all played into me just kind of really feeling run down. And then, uh, you know, out of nowhere, um, I mean, I'm 50 years old this year. I realize I'm no spring chicken, but out of nowhere, I started having really uh, dramatic uh, menopause symptoms. Um, and it came on hard and fast, like nothing I had anticipated. So I went from zero to 60 overnight. I had not had anything and then out of nowhere. Um, so with what I had learned, I concluded, of course, you know, my poor nutrition, stress factors, things like that were all playing a part in my health. And uh, again, likewise, at the same time from the things I'd learned, I was like, okay, I'm going to tackle this myself because I could not function like I was and I was determined to kick it. Um, so uh, um, Becky, you'll get a kick out of this. So I, you know, break out the essential oil Bible and I concoct this nice potion and I put it in a diffuser by my bed and I start diffusing every night. And I went to the kitchen and I pulled the Juice Plus box down off the shelf. I dusted it off and I set it on my bathroom counter. And then the very first night I took uh, a double dose of everything. And I was like, well, yeah, I'm pretty sure it can't kill me. I mean, whoever died of blueberries, right? You know, overdose of blueberries. So I uh, continued to take that double dose for the next um, about seven to 10 days. And I was... Uh, I, I was just shocked. I mean, they, you know, God says, don't, don't swear by anything, you know, just let your yes be yes, and your no be no. But I, I mean, I would just have to swear then, period, <laughs> because everything went away. Every symptom I had, every headache, hormone, hot flash, mood swing, like that quick, like night and day. And it was the only thing that I had changed. And sorry, Becky, I actually stopped diffusing the oils after day three because geranium is really stinky and I just couldn't, I couldn't take it. So, um, so yeah, I, I uh, I'm sorry, let me see here with my notes, but yeah, all of my symptoms stopped, absolutely everything. Um, and it was really the only change that I made. And, and, you know, I even added, as I was thinking about this day, like I really didn't pray, God, you know, heal me in this, um, because I just couldn't function like that. You know, nights were interrupted, you're not sleeping, that sort of thing. But uh, you know, then the, the light kind of went on. And I was like, well, he, he did, you know, by the provision that he offers and the beautiful bounty of what he created in nature. Um, that simple. Juice Plus is food and nutrition. It's the most amazing micronutritional product I think I have ever taken. It changes the profile of your health. And for me, um, it's a win. When if I, you know, I don't care if someone says, you know, 
take this, drink this magic potion or take this magic pill or whatever. If the, whatever I was having trouble with fixed that problem, then hands down, um, uh, it's a win. I'm sold. I'm in the middle of something. I'm just <laughs> dropping in on the meeting. Get out of here. Yeah, leave it, <laughs> leave it to the comedic in the crowd. You think just because you know all my friends, you can interrupt. <laughs> I only have three minutes. I know, Julie. I met Julie. I know. <laughs> okay. We're so tight. You're throwing me off. I had to write a script and everything. Oh, okay. Right. Go. <laughs> okay. So I have, he's even committed to taking it nonstop now. So um, yeah. Could you please shut the door and leave? <laughs> I feel great. <laughs> okay. So anyway, um, there's so much I want to say, and I am sorry that I didn't, um, you know, stick to my polished little script, but uh, yeah, I think that you know, whether there is some crisis physically that you're experiencing, or I just, that's the other part I wanted to add, just on the most base level. Again, it's food. It's in a capsule. I love that you said Jetson food. I, I like that line a lot. Um, I eat a lot of fruits and vegetables. I'm conscious of my diet and I need more of that very thing. Something I can't consume on a regular daily basis, especially when it's like zero degrees outside, I'm not eating a salad four times a day. I'm going to have bread and soup. So, <laughs> so y'all know what I'm talking about in that respect. And um, I just share with you from my heart, this is something that is, um, it's hugely impactful. And it is an opportunity to take your health back and to have uh, a way to invest in your care, your physical care, um, by something that, you know, that God really provided for us. So. I could go on and on because I'm really pretty excited. Well, I could just keep listening to you. So thank you so much. I love that. And of course, he just couldn't have you have the spotlight for too long. Oh, right. Can you believe that? <laughs> I love it. Okay, well, that's awesome, Mary. I have never even heard your story. That's so cool. So at this point, I'd love for Julie to unmute herself and share her story about adding in Juice Plus. So go ahead, Jules. Yeah, sure. Okay. I love Grant. He would, he would do that with me. Oh, of course. Oh, He's great. great. So hello all. I know some of you. Hi, Amanda. Good to see you. Amanda was one of my first babysitters years ago. So I can't believe you now have your own baby. Holy cow. So my <laughs> juice plus journey. So I have been interested in nutrition a long, long time. Um, I don't know if I had experiments on my counter, but we definitely have taken small steps in a direction that has made a major shift in our whole family. I look back at who I was, you know, 17 years ago when I was pregnant for the first time and making the connection for that very first time that it actually mattered what I was putting in my body because I was growing another human being and that little baby was going to be grown from what I put in my body. And all of a sudden that mattered. I don't know why it didn't matter before that. Maybe, I, don't, I guess I just thought health, being healthy meant exercising and being thin. And as long as I had those two things, it didn't really matter how I attained that. But I had my eyes opened and just started making changes. So we fast forward to two years ago and I've continued to do research. I love to read. I've read hundreds of books. Mary could attest. I mean, I'm always telling her about something or other and always talking about the newest thing. But at that point, I have a son who is three and a half and who is struggling with asthma. Never dealt with that before, had no idea what to do, ended up in the hospital four times. The last time was the pediatric intensive care unit, and I was kind of up against the wall because the asthma doctor was saying, hey, you need to give him daily steroids, and not just one daily steroid, but a couple, and he's sending me home with prescriptions, and I am not, you know, a quick to fill prescription kind of mama. We are kind of the natural route, and I love Western medicine. You know, like I, I heard someone say, if I am, you know, in a major accident, send me to the hospital, but I don't want fruits and vegetables. But for other things, I want to, you know, pursue more natural means. So I'm talking to my friend, Julie, and she's talking about Juice Plus, And I really kind of turned my nose up at her for a while and politely said, no, thank you. Because in all of my research, I did not know about this product. How in the world I did not know, I'm not sure, but I didn't. I Obviously, we have some more work to do, but she told me I could get it for free for Elijah. And that piqued my interest because my husband's a pastor. We have eight children and free works in my budget. So I was like, tell me more. <laughs> How do I get this for free? And the company is awesome in that they sponsor children from the ages of four to 18 when an adult takes it. So Elijah was turning four at that point. Um, he was over four. 
And so I said, okay, yeah, sign me up. And so a woman I never met by the name of Judy started sponsoring Elijah. We started taking um, Juice Plus fruits and vegetables in a capsule, jets and food, as Mary and Julie said. And it has now been, it's coming up this week, two days from now, it will be 22 months since Elijah has had an asthma attack. We have not seen the hospital. I mean, night and day, people. And I am so grateful for Julie sharing this with me because it just shows the power of food. And it's of what she shared earlier in this presentation. We are not getting that anymore. And we can put our head in the sand and bury our head and pretend that that's not true and say that we eat this or we eat that. But the reality is our food sources have become depleted. There is a reason why our life expectancy, which that is amazing, Julie, I've not heard that, our life expectancy just got lowered. It is the common denominator, the things that we do every single day, all of us, is eat. That's the common denominator. It's the food. We are not getting what we need. And this is just a daily way to infuse micronutrition into our bodies. And for Elijah, that was what he needed. We didn't do anything different. We just gave him fruits and veggies. So I said, well, we're all going to take this. So now <laughs> all 10 of us are taking Juice Plus and we've got other things that we've seen that we didn't even plan on that have happened. But I am so excited um, and we'll be taking Juice Plus for the rest of my life. That's my story. That's awesome. Well, and you know what? When I got started on Juice Plus four and a half years ago, I got started with zero expectation. So I want to encourage you in that regard too. I mean, you know, if I wouldn't quit eating a salad every day because I didn't see a change, right? I would still continue to eat the salad. Um, and of course, I did end up seeing wonderful changes with time. But I do want to encourage you just these stories are powerful. So just to remember that the product itself and the brilliance behind it is powerful in, in itself. Um, so we really invite you to do one of three things. You know, number one, maybe you're feeling, <coughs> excuse me, really encouraged to eat well, to make some positive changes in your diet. And if that's where you're at right now, we totally support you in that. We really are on a mission just to encourage people to live healthier lives. Secondly, maybe you're curious about adding Juice Plus in. It really is the most affordable way that we know to get a massive amount of nutrition into busy families. So as Julie mentioned, we have this amazing program where any adult who takes Juice Plus can sponsor any child age four through 18 or a full-time college undergrad for up to four years, they can get their product for free. So make sure to ask Mary about that. It's an amazing program. And then finally, if you heard this information and you got really pumped up, like myself and Julie and Mary get, and you thought, I have people in my life that I want them to know. When I really learned what I shared with you tonight, I thought, everybody, and I specifically thought every mom, deserves to know they put broccoli and kale into a capsule. And it's just my job and my duty now to share that with people. Um, so if you thought that, please let us know. We'd love to help. We could get you this recording. We'd love to touch the people in your life who might be blessed by this information. So at this point, I'm going to stop the recording.